Right, it's about time we introduce Dean's 2002 Bug Eye Scooby. This thing is now going under the knife for a carbon fibre wide body and bonnet now because he's just decided he wants a carbon bonnet as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's the plan, Dean? Wide arch here, yep. something out like that and down and stuff. All covered wheels, no exposed wheels. No exposed wheels. Front bumper. WRX replica. Job's done. And then we've got. Whatever they are down here. These side skirts are actually off uh, an Audi S3 BTCC car. So these are going to get made onto here as well for all that aero goodness. <laughs> we know what we're talking about, honest. <laughs> Wide arch all the back. That's going to look sick. So we've got all the gear over here. Carbon Kevlar. Uh, normal carbon. Well, we've got all sorts of carbon and all sorts of stuff I know nothing about, but Dean knows all about this stuff because he's been looking into it. He's a pro, honest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got all this stuff as well. So more importantly, we've got the foam. So we've got to make everything with the foam first, shape everything, and then attack it with some fiberglass. See how that goes, and then carbon Kevlar, and see how that goes. Yep. And I'm hoping to go with maybe something like this colour. Nice sandy nice sort of colour. Might keep it matte. Might 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 lacquer it. Either way, it's going to look good though. So yeah. But in the meantime, we need to start stripping this thing down and probably clean up some panels because it's absolutely covered in dust. So yeah, tripod. Dean was so quick to judge with my escort with the rust I had. The state of that. <laughs> that's, not Ford, that's not Ford rust, mate. That is not Ford rust. <laughs> Getting there though, it's almost. That's probably only started occurring since it's been sat next to my car. It's <laughs> contagious. <laughs> yeah. Look at this animal. Don't even want to take things off properly. It's broken. It is now. No, it's just the paint's just coming off it. It's not loving life. What the hell is that? That, my friend, is what you call wood glue. Oh dear. It's all right, I'm not a mechanic. <laughs> now, what is generally holding it? So? Probably just one more clip, isn't it? It's going to be that really awkward one. Oh, yeah. That one. Oh, it was a texture. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah. The seals are not too bad. Just a bit of glue stuck on here from Dean doing a, a quick fix. It was falling off. It was falling off on the way home, so I glued it on. And it held for a couple of years, so I'll give you that. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but listen to that. That is solid. Solid, solid metal that Can't is. Can't go wrong with that. Ford rust my arse. Sweet, that's for the square. <laughs> and then all down here. It's, well, it's, it's Ford swearing or is it the arse? Both. <laughs> <laughs> nice solid seals. Apart yeah, from like where they're folded up a little bit, but yeah. we'll pull that out. <laughs> We'll make that good. It's all good, man. Not too shabby so far. On to a winner. On to a winner. Scoop removal. Whilst Dean's doing that, let's have a look around his car. So, obviously, 
2002 bug eye. It's a bit mouldy in here because it's been here for a while and he hasn't done nothing to it because he's been lazy. <laughs> so, nice full cage. All the welded in bases and whatnot. Nice core blue seat over there, obviously covered up because it's in the workshop. It's brand new, don't want to mark it. Track card door cards. They actually look quite nice to me, so I'll give you that. I reckon actually look all right. No, they need like a bit of edging around the top, though, yeah, I think, yeah. just to so you don't catch your arms on it. But yeah, no, they look alright. It could be a better detail finish where you can know where. But they're not shocking. No. For what they are, I mean, they serve a purpose, don't they? Yeah. So, yeah, let's start. Hey, do you know about this? Hey? Yeah. We'll see. Back half of the cage. Not really a lot to see there. That is, what is that? SW Motorsports cage. It is a pretty decent cage to be honest. It's nice and tight tolerances. Yeah, it's nice and tight. So that's all of that. The engine is, what, basically standard, isn't it? With an upgraded turbo. Basically standard. It's got the STI pink injectors. It's got a VF35 down there. wheel turbo. Not that you can see it, but that is down there somewhere. Other than that, it's pretty... Yeah. Is that an STI in the corner? It's an STI in the STI corner. STI in the corner. Obviously, random hoses here, there and everywhere. Five cross filter. Jack speed alloy rad. Mm -hmm. Keep trying to talk him into just going for a front mount, but he's been gay and won't have it. No, it's not that. It's just, I just haven't got the monies. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a problem we all suffer with. But yeah, I mean, generally speaking, it's actually quite a clean car. In yes, terms of case, Subarus. K-Sports and all that. Oh, yes. yeah. K-Sport brakes down there. Need some new rotors though. They're, they're yeah. a bit cooked. Ding lights the brakes. Too too much too much track days for this. And then what are these? Like rotors something, isn't they? Rotor grids. Ro no, they're not grids. Uh, no, are, no. Grids are know. what we had on the MX-5. Yeah, can't remember. These are rotor something or others. Oh. With Michelin Pilot Sport 4s all around. Uh, BC Racing coilovers, shout out to BC Racing because someone hit this thing whilst it was parked up and it ripped the shock apart and they come in clutch and repaired the broken coilover in about four days I think it was. I think it was a three day turnaround from me sending it to them fixing it to then me getting it back was the three days. Yeah something silly like that wasn't it but yeah they come in sorted a guy out so we have to rebuild all this front corner with new wing, new door new coil over, new wheel, although he only needed one, he ended up buying four because he, yeah, struggle, he's, cause he struggles with money. Now I've got four, <laughs> four alleys that I can put some slicks on, haven't I? Right, there is that, there is that. So yeah. And then it's got white line, white, white line, line, roll bars. Yeah. What's them, what's them gold blocks we put in? That's um, part of the white line kit, isn't it? Yeah, it's part of the white line kit, it corrects, it's bump steer correction. A bump steer correction. Full it's blown all, track car at this, to, at this point all, in time, isn't it? All body bushed and all that fun stuff. Rebuilt all the back subframe bit because that was all knackered at one point. Yeah, that's all been out and powder coated. So, yeah, full blown track car, going even more full blown track car now. So, we're going to take this scoop off because we're, well, Dean is going to try and do a carbon fibre bonnet. <laughs> so, and with that carbon fibre bonnet, we're going to put these bonnet vents in that come off the same Audi S3 touring car as what the side skirts come off. So we're going to position them on there in a minute. And I'll pick the camera back up when we know what we're doing with these. This is the master plan. Well, Dean's going to stew over this for a couple of days just to make sure he's happy with where he's put them. I think. In the grand scheme of things, that is kind of where they need to be. Well, yeah, the air filter's underneath here. Yeah. That lines up with the back of the scoop. Line with the slip, sways line. Yeah, they're not too high and not too low. So I think, really and truly, I think they are probably in their best spot. Mm. I think they look quite good one. Once they're actually set in, it always looks weird when they're sitting proud, but... Yeah. It looks quite nice in white as well. 
I mean, you could paint them body colour. Could do. Yeah. Yeah. Right, anyway, that's probably going to do us for tonight. So I'll pick the camera back up next time Dean's down here and working on this. And, I don't know, I suppose next time we might be getting the uh, frame out, won't we? And trying to make something of the arches. Yep, and then I should have the front bumper as well, so I can put that on, work from that. Work it back, figure out what's going on with the lines, make sure he's happy with it. And then fiberglass it. So pick it up next time. Size of this box. Absolutely massive. Come on, be quicker. People are waiting to see what's in the box. <laughs> this is what it's like to be a kid at Christmas. That's it. Massive great big box. <laughs> for what is essentially a tiny little bumper. Very random. It's quite a big bumper to be fair though. Yeah, it is quite massive. <laughs> so apparently all this front support needs to come out in order for that bumper to fit. So that's Dean's way of losing a lot of rust. <laughs> Just take bits off. <laughs> oh. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. It broke yet. Alright, anyway. Get this off and see what it looks like in a minute. Crash bar delete. And it actually fits now. Ish. Well, not really in the slightest. No, because the wing is, is made for these wide body wings. Oh, okay. We get this done, fitted, mounted. This is that much difference then? Yeah. Holy fuck. Okay. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool then. Oh, amazing. Look at that. Was this WRC work? Yeah. yeah. I think that side sticks out a little bit more than this side, so you're going to have to make sure you measure these. That's that side sticks out more. No, no way. 100% it's that size. 40. 40? What do you reckon? 39. 45. See, I told you. Didn't I tell him? It's this side that's sticking out too much. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> well, hey. So, are you gonna, you're going to cut that up and put that back in? You're going to lop the middle out of that and put the sides back in. But well, you ain't even got a hole on this for your toe thing anyway, so you're going to have to make something up for your toe eye. Yeah.
suppose better clear up first though, isn't it? Because it's, uh, it's a bit messy. And this stuff is real static. Oh, I'm going to be finding this on me for ages. so let's back to it um, so I'm gonna do this section here I'm gonna try and recreate it here so that's why it'll be too thin to leave this in the foam so I'm gonna body filler this area out this here is a little bit lower but I'm gonna come out flat here um, as you can see I've got like raking up and out with my WRC bumper, I'm just gonna leave this gap here so I can fill it out a little bit. And then I've shaped this with a curve, flat, but like raking up a bit. I was gonna leave this square, but I've curved it now into the side skirt. So I think that looks a little bit better. Um, fitted this as a temporary, just temporary tech screwed, but I'll rivet this in. And then I've cut this to go on there, so that's the end blade, because this was a little bit too long, and I'll fiberglass that onto there. This one is going to be a complete fender, so I'll fix this in here, here, here. I'll also take the door off once I've done it and fix behind the A pillar. So be a complete repanel on that one. And this one is going to be fitted underneath the trim. The B pillar completely mould over this out around this part. Down. And boxy but not boxy. And then got a load of diffuser work and stuff to do, but... Hey Terry. Yeah. There we go, Ding's project has started. Whee! So, stay tuned for more. He's now onto his bonnet. Be onto the rear quarter very soon. Yeah. So we will film that as and when that happens. Might be a couple of weeks, going by his little snigger just then. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the missus, doesn't it? Uh, and his enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a strong factor. Yeah, exactly. Right, see you later, Dean. See you later.